Hey guys, Keith with Lightline Fishing. We're going to talk about the most number one versatile bait in bass fishing. Stay with me. We're going to talk about the most number one versatile bait there is for bass fishing. Everybody wants to know what's the best bait to catch bass. You can watch a thousand videos on a ton of different baits that'll tell you it's the best bait for bass fishing. But I'm going to here to tell you right now, there's only one that's the most versatile that you could use in so many ways that is going to catch a bass. So that makes it number one. And what it is, is very simple. The stick bait, the wacky worm, uh, the Cinco, whatever you want to call it. There's so many ways to fish this. In fact, I even forgot one myself that I meant to set up all the ways you could fish this and I forgot one. <laughs> See, there's just so many ways. Now your most common way that a wacky worm is fished is on a common straight shape hook. Done like that, throwed fly line. Catches fish like you would not believe. Just take this out, flip it out, let it sink, and it does this, this action down the bottom. It just floats like that and catches fish. You just dead stick it. Let it hop it a couple times, let it float back down. It's that action that catches the fish of that wobble and that does that in that water. Mimics, and if you notice, green pumpkin. Green pumpkin, only two colors you need. Green pumpkin and blue with blue flake. Okay, so we got the wacky worm. That's one. Then the other way that I use this bait is with a shaky head. It's a very versatile bait. You can put it on a shaky head like this right here you just thread it on pull that stick on through thread that bad boy on like that and it looks just like this then you got that head and when that you see that line tie, line, tie, line tie that worm will just sit there and work across the bottom just like that standing up you got a perfect shaky head bait. Real simple, green pumpkin, black and blue. So there's a shaky head. We have wacky worm, we have shaky head. Okay, so there, that's the, the two ways. So now we'll go to a third way, which is on a wobble head. You take this bait and put it on a wobble head. Now I did a video on the wobble head and on the wobble head you do the same thing that we talked before, you run it right to the top of the shank, you pull it out, you spin it around like that right there to where the top is, pinch a little bit and pull it tight to where you got it straight, nice straight bait so that when it pulls, it looks just like that. So you have the wobble head. Now, when you're fishing a wobble head with the wacky worm, you do want to stop so it's more of a drag maybe a hop here and there dragging that across the bottom and then kind of hop it then let it sit so you got a wobble head so there's another way, uh, way to use it okay that's on one then a very common way that a lot of guys will use this instead of doing it wacky is doing it uh, weedless because you know, wacky doesn't go through. So they'll just take a number three hook, like that right there, run it halfway on, then run it back up to the top, pinch it a little bit, and voila, and there's your bait. And you can throw this in the weeds, the grass, the thickest stuff you can find. You put it on a medium action rod with some eight pound test and just flip that right into the bushes and it'll, do the same thing. It'll that weight will be the note. The actual the hook is your weight, and it will go on down into the bushes. And you just sit there, and just kind of tap that line a little bit. It gets that tail flapping. 
perfect way to catch fish when the fishing's tough is doing a Texas rig, no weight. And then since we mentioned Texas rig, no weight. <laughs> Here you go. Let's pull it up. Another way to do it is Texas rig it. Same way, you run a three-aught hook. Run that three-aught hook up. Run it back through. There it is. That's the weight. There's your bead. Now, some guys say you don't need a bead. I use beads to protect that dot. Plus, I like that clanging sound. You can hear it makes rattle when it comes back and forth. Gets down there, does that when you're popping it. Hear that? I like that. Makes noise, creates, and there's a couple boys from down south that claim you gotta have a red one. I don't know if that really makes a difference or not. Well, I've tried, <laughs> I stick with superstition. So there's your Texas rig, okay? You can peg it, I don't, it's up to you. Fill it out, try it, see what you think. Man, we have, since we talked about the Texas rig, the old ball and chain. Do the same thing. Number three odd hook. You got half ounce weight tied onto a swivel with a bead. Let's that line go through. Leaves that wacky worm back here in the back. Doing that same old thing. You know, you got your running it through, putting it covered up the top of that shank. Spin it back around, pinch it a little bit, get right in the hole, boom, there you go. That's your bait right there. And that's what you'd be throwing behind that ball and chain. So as it runs, so that's the ball and chain. Then you could take one of these right here. And you can break it, bite it, whatever, but it has a worm sack. See that worm sack right there? I like to take it right at the top of that worm sack. Bite that bad boy off. It leaves you about a, a good four inch, four and a half inch. And you take you the Ned Rig. That little Ned Rig. Run it right to the top of that fat end. And just run it straight up on that hook. Stick it up in there and use it just like that. And you got a, got a nice little dead rig bait. Open hook, exposed hook. You want to make sure you get that straight too. I didn't get that real straight. And that keeper's a good one. So get it on there about where it's supposed to go. And you push it on. And that way when that bait's sitting there, it's perfectly straight bouncing off the bottom. So you got a nice little dead head. So those are several different types of ways to use it. There's one other way that I forgot to, to mention, and that was the Nico, the most common Nico rig. You put a nail weight in the nose. You notice how, if you look at the worm, it's got a skinny tail down here and a head up here. You put a nail weight in that head right there, just whatever size you want, just to get it to drop. And then you put an O-ring on this right here with your number two mosquito hook. You could get those with the weedless or open hook, open hook, however you want to do it. And that causes it to do the same, almost like the same thing as a Ned rig. It just kind of bounces. It's all of them are just bottom feeding bouncing baits. So like I said, two colors, <laughs> real simple. We don't get all crazy. Green pumpkin, black and blue with blue flake. That's it. Okay, oh, and I wanted to throw one extra one that I found that actually does work. Believe it or not, it's kind of crazy. Here it goes. Here's the one little tidbit I bet you I've never heard of. Here's your flipping jig. Typical green pumpkin flipping jig. You take this bad boy, take that worm, wacky, cinco, whatever you want to call it, Run it right through the middle of that there and run it just like that. So now you have a wacky jig. And this catches fish, believe it or not. 
Now, I can't take credit for creating this. I saw this on another video from a guy that's kind of crazy, and he tries all kinds of wacky stuff, and he, he was catching monsters with this thing, and I was like, there's no way in heck. I got to try that. I fish a lot of jigs. I have a jig tied on year-round, people. Try it. It's unbelievable. It catches fish, believe it or not. Whatever your favorite color is, I use the green pumpkin. That's that's my jig that I throw year-round right there. This type of year, I throw one with a rattle. <laughs> Try it. It's the craziest thing. Mix it up. Put black and blue on a green pumpkin jig. It don't matter. I'm telling you, you can mix them colors up. Don't get to where you think you have to run. If you're running a green pumpkin jig, you got to run a green pumpkin trailer. You don't. Whoever tells you that's lying to you. Mix it up. Try all different color trailers. Anyways, guys, check this out. I was trying to think of a way to do another giveaway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give away everything you've seen today. Check this out. There's all the packages of the stuff. Okay, we got the Ned Heads. These are tungsten weights. Got a couple packs of Wacky Worms. Uh, green Pumpkin and the Blue. Half ounce weights for the Texas Rig. There's your bullet weights for the Texas rig, the half ounce weights for the uh, Carolina rig. Going to be a package of hooks, which I'll put those hooks over there back in there. Here's the beads. Here's your uh, swivels. There's the shaky heads. Here's the pack for the uh, wobble head. And then also, this is the pack for the jig. So you get the jig. You get all this stuff here to start off a little packet for Everything that I start, just to start you off so you can learn how to do this. That's right, guys. Like I said, to me, this is the most versatile, number one bait you can have that doesn't break the bank. Just all this stuff is very inexpensive, but you have so many different ways you could use it with the same bait. Buying those two same weights, you just keep this little tackle that, you, that I'm going to provide you know, it's a little starter kit just so you can try it, get out there and catch some fish on it, see what works for you. You know, if the wacky work, running it wacky don't work, try it Ned Rig. If it don't run, work Ned Rig, try a uh, Texas Rig, Carolina Rig. However you like to fish, there's ways you got and I'm going to send it to you for free. The only thing I ask is just come make a comment. Say, you know, um, say me. I don't care. Just make a comment on this video that automatically enters you to win this content, to, to win the giveaway. So just make a comment. That's all. Say boo. I don't care. Just make a comment. Please remember, subscribe, share. Guys, I'm trying to give back to you guys, show you techniques that I use to catch fish and the, and the stuff I buy to use to catch the fish. So share with your friends. Hit that little bell so you know when I post another video. Guys, make a comment. Get in on this stuff. I'm going to give all this stuff away to get you started with the Senko or Wacky Worm, whatever you want to call it. It's free tackle, guys. Share it with your friends. Hey, take somebody fishing. I'm Keith with Lightline Fishing. We'll catch you next time. See ya.